On today's installment of our Ask an Expert series, we're going to be talking about our Annapolis Town Center project in Parole, Maryland. Hi, it's Mike Sequino again with uh, Directional Technology, Senior Vice President. So Mike, to start us off, can you give us a little bit of background about the project site? The history on this site was um, probably one of the first times we were involved um, in a project where a developer was driving the remediation. Uh, the site was going to be built out with shopping centers and condos, so the remediation had to be aggressive um, in terms of getting the site cleaned to the standards that no further action was going to, going to be required down the road once the site was developed. So the root cause of the site contamination was a small dry cleaner, like uh, many dry cleaners. Uh, they were basically using their drain as a way of getting rid of their PCE, uh, creating a long and fairly narrow plume that ran across the site. What kind of challenges was the consultant up against? The biggest challenge was the developer, uh, that he needed the remediation to take place prior to the major full-scale construction of the site. And the off-site access uh, was also a challenge uh, to drill underneath the street and the depth of the contamination uh, across the site. So what brought the consultant to give you a call in the first place? Uh, the consultant was familiar with horizontal wells and had used them in the past. And when we first talked about the site, uh, obviously the site was going to be a permanganate injection. And uh, one of the challenges, well, we had many challenges, but um, the first challenge we looked at was the depth and the vertical horizon that we were dealing with. So the first step was is that we took was we're going to set the wells at different depths. So one, one set of wells went in at 30 feet and the next set of wells went in at 40 feet. And they were staggered in a sawtooth manner uh, along the length of the plume. The wells were set cutting the well perpendicular along its length. So the other challenges was um, we had the road we had to contend with, the future building of a parking garage that uh, was actually under construction when the crew showed up there to put the wells in the ground, uh, and off-site access, not just the road, but other people's property that um, we had to drill up to and stop. And we actually had the bank that we had to um, come up with a plan where we didn't, we weren't allowed to drill underneath the bank. Uh, so we put some wells on one side and then they finished off the tail end of the plume uh, with some vertical injection points. And when we were Deciding on where to do the entry points, we looked at the site, we looked at the plans, and made sure we were putting the well vaults in an area that was not going to impact the construction of the parking garage. So when they looked at the advantage of using horizontal um, and the time frame they were looking at, the some of the screen section was going to be underneath the parking garage. So once that parking garage went up, the access to that area was 
going to be off limits for any type of vertical injections. You know, pushing and making the horizontal approach uh, more uh, conducive to the developer's demands of what was going to transpire at the site. Uh, the other component um, of the project was we did actually put in some SVE wells underneath the uh, actual strip mall where the dry cleaner was located. So the timeline of the project obviously was very important to the developer. Even at the kickoff uh, meeting we had uh, with the developer himself and the builder and the consultant, um, it was made very clear to us that uh, our wells were going to be installed and we were gonna, going to be off site by a certain day at a certain time because they had their crane coming in to set their precast concrete parking garage. So the, uh, so time was of the essence. So the onset of the project, obviously a vertical solution was looked at and uh, the developer basically took it off the table uh, for obvious reasons that the amount of permanganate that had to go into the ground over a period of time was going to impact his schedule and his construction. So um, having the consulting being familiar with horizontal wells, that was the forerunner of the project. So the client knew that they needed to use horizontal remediation wells why did they decide that they wanted to work with directional technologies? They came to us because of our experience and our knowledge of knowing that we had to design the screen for even distribution along its length. So working with uh, the permanganate manufacturer and looking at the delivery system that they were going to use, we came up with a design for the wells uh, and had them custom slotted for this project. So Mike, just to summarize, what I think I've heard you say is we were able to access the portions of the plume that would have been uh, obstructed by the construction of the uh, parking garage. Uh, we were able to deliver the amount of permanganate that was going to be needed to successfully remediate the plume, and we were able to do that uh, without closing down the road and without impacting any of the construction that would have been going on and also following uh, after we left the job. And in doing all that, we're able to get the site cleaned up uh, within the client's expectations for timelines. Is that right? Correct. We actually worked hand in hand with the construction company at the site. Uh, they were building the parking garage while we were drilling. Um, and along with that, uh, we had to coordinate with them as to where they were going to be on the site and where we were going to be on the site. Uh, we helped uh, design a delivery system while we were there for um, uh, safety purposes where we looked at using different pipes. We ended up using HDP pipe to deliver the amendments to the wellheads um, so that uh, there wasn't going to be any breakage of the piping system. Uh, the delivery system was 20,000 gallon frack tanks and over the course of the project, uh, 1.2 million gallons of permanganate were injected through the 10 horizontal wells. Mike, in the grand scheme of things, what about this project made it significant in the world of remediation? When we first got into it, um, the 
you know, the question was asked, you know, 10 horizontal wells, and then the number was put out there as 1.2 million gallons were going to be injected through these wells. Um, and that was significant to us and everyone involved in the project. And the reasoning behind it is once again, going back to the developer, he wanted his solution and he wanted it on time and on budget. Mike, we appreciate your input. If your project has challenges that require expertise when it comes to designing effective horizontal remediation wells, uh, precise installation, and the knowledge to know what is effective when it comes to good system design, call our experts.